Hi there again everyone and uh, what I wanted to do in this video is to highlight uh, some uh, work that I did to uh, create a dust hood uh, or dust extraction hood uh, for my CNC machine. Uh, as you can see here, you know, my spindle, my VFT spindle mounted to an aluminum plate to my Z-axis. And then what I did is I created out of Lexan, uh, you can use acrylic, uh, polycarbonate, you know, there's a lot of material out there. I believe this is about a quarter of an inch thick. I machined this hood, if you will, that then with a couple of very simple uh, aluminum uh, right angle brackets, I have attached it uh, to the Z plate. Uh, underneath here, there's a couple of holes, I'll highlight those in a minute, uh, that give me clearance for a two inch uh, dust extraction uh, fitting here that the vacuum hose you know, basically attaches to and I'll make another video to show you how I touch all those. Uh, and then uh, some rare earth magnets that allow me to change dust skirts. And then out of the same material I create a dust skirt if you will. Uh, this one as you can see has um, plastic bristles that you can use and they come in all different lengths uh, all different materials. This is plastic. You can get them out of uh, uh, horse hair, I believe, uh, and there's a couple of others out there. And I just, you know, in SolidWorks designed the model, created a groove, and uh, uh, put those bristles in there, as you can see. Uh, and then just the same holes that line up with a couple of additional magnets that then bolt on uh, to the side of the machine. So, as you can see, it's quite easy to take this and quite easily, just like that, attach it to the machine. And you have a very effective. Uh, dust extraction hood. Now you can obviously, depending on your depth of cut and the tools that you use, you can uh, make these longer or make them shorter. Uh, very easy to remove and attach. I'll show you another one here. And as you can see, same design, but a lot shorter bristles. Very, very flexible as well. So if I'm cutting something which requires my Z axis to be uh, closer to the part that I'm cutting, I can easily change out the different length of bristles and be very effective. Um, these are, things are also very flexible, as you can see here. They can bend quite easily. You know, and again, you can get different materials, and depending on how long and uh, how soft the bristles are, you can even get more flexibility. But as you can see here, you know, if I have any sort of clamps on the table, let me just grab a clamp here you know, that I'm holding material down, let's say for example, uh, this quite easily will go over the clamp, okay, and, and there's no no interference, so it works quite well. Uh, another material that I've actually experimented with is some plastic, and as you can see, you can see that here, uh, very, very flexible plastic, I just got some slits in it, same design. This one actually, I used a couple of uh, sheet metal screws to attach after stretching it. And I gotta say, this is also quite effective. Um, not as effective as the bristles I found, uh, but again, it depends on the material you're cutting. Uh, for plastic, this is just fine uh, because, you know, you don't have that fine particle creation. Obviously, if you're machining MDF, I would certainly recommend a bristle one as it will contain more of the dust. And this is quite, quite more flexible as you can see. You can get really, really flat. So, uh, again, with the creation of, uh, of this design here, you can easily play around, you know, with different material and, like that, uh, quite easily attach it to the uh, VFT spindle and then, you know, quite easily take that off. And as you can see, there's a lot of clearance uh, for you to be able to then change your tools um, you know, zero out the machine, especially if you have touch probes and whatnot, and uh, then just quite simply, again, when you're ready to cut, put the dust skirt right on the machine and off you go. Okay, so again, short video, uh, people have asked as to what I might be doing for dust extraction, and this is the uh, system that I came up with. Uh, now, obviously, you can make this a lot longer. You can, you know, obviously you can make this a lot longer uh, if you wanted to. If you have uh, bigger four-inch hose uh, extraction tools here, easily you can, you know, extend this out. Um, 
if you do that, if you do so, I, I would think that there would be the need for maybe a bracket going down to give you some additional support here. Again, there's not really that much support needed, uh, but if you do make this thing longer, uh, especially with the weight of the vacuum hose and depending on how flexible that is, you might just, you know, additionally need maybe a little bit of a, uh, of aluminum uh, uh, bracket to just give you some additional support. Uh, I haven't uh, needed that as you can see mine uh, works quite well. Uh, the holes here, I should also mention, just remove this here, give me adequate clearance both for the vacuum um, uh, extraction as well as you know I create a clearance for the VFD spindle obviously you know you don't want anything grinding and uh, you know I offset the magnets here a little bit so when this part here mates with this part it automatically aligns just you know just putting the magnet maybe at one sixteenth of an inch deeper here and leaving this magnet on top of this a sixteenth of an inch uh, outside of that hole and you can easily control obviously the depth of this holes especially if you machine this on your CNC machine so it very very easily aligns and there's absolutely you know almost a perfect fit every time for the clearance I need around the VFT spindle okay feel free to send me any questions uh, if you have them and uh, thank you for watching